everyone, Ryan the Vintage Viking, and I have today um, what I picked up from uh, my recent trip to go to uh, this warehouse sale, as well as while I was there for that weekend, I went to a bunch of like Goodwills and stuff like that. So just want to share that with you guys. Um, this is kind of the last thing that I have pending before I do a full reorganization of everything that I have. And um, it's already kind of partially started, but I'm going to revamp everything. And um, so I wanted to kind of get this, this uh, pile of stuff done and then I can... Uh, you know, incorporate it in um, wherever it's going to go, whether it's for sale or whether it's for collection or what have you. So um, <clears throat> this book sale that I went to, this warehouse sale, it is in Sacramento, California. They do one once every, you know, six months or so. And basically it's fill a bag. You, you get the brown paper sack, like you get the grocery store, you fill that up and then they charge you by the bag. So um, I can't remember how many bags I had. It's been a little while now. Um, like 30 or something like that. So <laughs> I had quite a few. Um, and so here's some of it. I think I've already shown parts of it or, or maybe I just kind of skipped over some of it, but here's the last, uh, chunk of it that is left. So, um, on this is, some of this is just sale stuff. Some of this is stuff that I wanted. Some of it I just grabbed cause it was cheap and I was like, well, I don't know anything about it, but you know, uh, it fits in the bag, so I might as well. So, um, one of those things being T.A. Barton's Merlin set or series or something. I don't know anything about this, um, but uh, I figured it was a kind of a big chunky set, so I might as well grab it and threw that in the bag. So that's one of them. A lot of this stuff was um, hardcover or trade paperback size. Uh, and um, I do have, you know, some regular paperbacks, but a lot of it was was um, big bulky things. The Star Child trilogy, Frederick Pohl and Jack Williamson. They these these two guys wrote a lot of um, different wrote a lot of stuff together. So um, this one contains the Reef of Space, a Reefs of Space, Star Child, and Rogue Star. So neat little collection. It is a book club edition, but that's a great little um, book set there. Janet Morris, Thieves World, Beyond the Veil. Another by Frederick Pohl, The Hichi Rendezvous. The Hichi Saga is um, a trilogy that started with his uh, Hugo and Nebula award-winning novel, Gateway. Uh, then it's Beyond the Blue Horizon, and then this is the third in that series. And I do have all those in hardcover, so it's kind of a neat um, collection. And um, I, I do have multiple copies of each one, so uh, I'll be, when I organize, <laughs> filtering that down to just having one for myself, and then the rest will be for sale at some somewhere, somehow. And I apologize, I'm going to have to be kind of leaning forward and moving around because big stacks of stuff everywhere uh the people of the black circle this one did not have a dust jacket but it is by robert e howard um so i went ahead and picked it up it does have some light staining inside unfortunately but it is a conan book um i don't think i have this one in my conan collection of of the ones that i'm keeping for myself and i certainly don't have it in hardcover so that's a uh, kind of a neat little one Lloyd Bickle Jr. This is Monument. And um, uh, this one is also a book club edition. Somebody's uh, little, you know, uh, personal library stamp in there or sticker or whatever. And then that little, got the little indented one. Sorry, I got paint all over my hands. I've been working on a remodel all week. So, which, <laughs> if you could see this size a little bit, puffy and closed is because I got tagged in the eye like three days ago with a, a chunk of um, particle board and it, oh, it hurt and it still kind of hurts so that was a fun one um, but neat neat book there hardcover I do have some Lloyd Biggle Jr. that's on my list to read for the year um, so if I I really like reading him I may um, add that one on 
uh, The Girl with All the Gifts. I started this movie. I, I've never read the book, but I there's a I think it wasn't maybe a Netflix original. I don't know, but it it was on Netflix. Uh, the the movie adaptation of this and I for some reason I only watched like 20 minutes and then I got distracted or something and I've never started it again so I'm kind of curious uh, I did want to read this one um, so I'm not sure if I'll just try to watch the movie or if I'll read it again but I do have this in hardcover so this one I will be adding to a uh, probably a whatnot uh, Terminal List, Jack Carr, picked this up because uh, I enjoyed the show, and I thought, man, eh, maybe I'll read the book, so um, we'll see. Uh, King David's Spaceship by Jerry Purnell. Jerry Purnell wrote Moat in God's Eye, probably most famously. Does a lot of co-writing with um, uh, Larry Niven, and this one is a book club edition also. Not one that I've read before, or not one I've really heard much about. So, Gregory Benford, The Stars in Shroud. Another hardcover. And this one is also a book club edition. So, uh, I am I kind of, you'll see me open these up and look at them. Because I, I never actually, ha I didn't go through them when I bought them. I didn't look through them. I just grabbed them and threw them in a bag. Because I was trying to be the fastest one and get the most. I just wanted to fill bags, fill bags, fill bags, fill bags, and not, uh, you know, miss something because I'm sitting there being nitpicky. Um, so, a Overlook SF, SF and F Classics. I don't think I've ever seen this design for, like, a, you know, a book series or whatever. But this is Norman Spinrad, Bug Jack Baron. Kind of a weird name. I do have some Norman Spinrad on my list as well. I have not read Spinrad yet. Um, uh, I may have read some short stories, but I've never read a full full length one before. Uh, Douglas Adams, The Salmon of Doubt, Hitchhiking the Galaxy One Last Time. So famously known for writing Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, and I don't know if this one is actually part of that series. I would guess. Oh, hey. Uh, Borders Christmas. Bookmark. Um, Christopher Stasha to the Magic Born. And uh, this is a book club edition. Got a ton of these like vintage hardcover. Um, awesome books. And I'm thinking of taking this whole shelf here and just putting every hardcover I have on there that is um, you know w ones that I want to keep for myself and just having this just be strictly a hardcover section and I'm thinking of taking my shelves over either to the right or ahead of me the ones you can't see and um, making it a full paperback uh, section and separate the two things out but um, so another Douglas Adams mostly harmless that is part of the Hitchhiker's Guide. Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. I loved, loved, loved this movie. I thought it was great. It is not, you know, it's not a, a you know, one of the best ever, but it's just, it was just a fun movie. Um, Orson Scott Card and Catherine Kidd, which I don't think I've ever seen those two having written something together, but this is Love Lock. Ben Bova. Um, Privateers. This one is not a book club edition. This is a first edition copy. Uh, Boris Vallejo cover on that. You can see that cover without the glare affecting it. I'm trying to turn it. Let's see, yeah, it's not really. But um, I've I've never read uh, Ben Bova. I have a desire to read through his um, what is it like through the galaxy series or whatever it is. I forget what it's called, but it's like you know Saturn, Jupiter. Mars, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Um, Christopher Stashef, A Wizard in War. This is the third chronicle of the Rogue Wizard. Gregory Benford and Larry Niven together. Bowl of Heaven. Big hardcover copy, not book club. And um, this 
making sure these aren't signed here. Signed, signed copies all the time. So, oh well, another copy of that same one, Love Lock. Oh, this is an uncorrected proof. Nice. Part of the Mayflower trilogy, book one, it says. So, not one that I've really even heard of. Um, so, Phantom, Joe Nesbo. I have been grabbing all the Joe Nesbo um, books that have um, Harry, Harry Hole. I'm not making that up. Uh, the Her Detective Harry Hole thrillers. Um, and, um, Well, why, why would you choose that name? Why? I don't get it. Uh, maybe because it's translated from Norwegian. But um, this is uh, one of those ones. And I have probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have at least seven. I have some other ones floating around. There's quite a few in this series. But I would like to have the whole series and read that at some point. I really enjoyed uh, the movie The Snowman. And it's intrigued me uh, I really used to like to read um, James Patterson's Alex Cross books like um, I know there's probably like 20 of them now but the ones where it was uh, like kiss the girls and um, along came a spider like I read all those ones probably five or six of the early ones um, and really enjoyed them so uh, I, I do like detective mystery crime type stuff too so um chuck palinuk adjustment day and uh this one for some reason has tons of notes in it um i'm not sure why someone really felt the need to break this one down quite a bit but um they did and so that's right check it out uh where the crawdads sing 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 um, Del Delia Owens. Um, I don't know anything about this other than I've seen the movie being promoted and that, uh, it's a very popular one that pops up on booktube all the time. So, um, so Elmore, uh, Leonard wrote, uh, the Raylan Givens novels. Um, if you've ever seen the show Justified, this is the basis for it i absolutely love that show it's one of my probably one of my top 10 shows of all time i love timothy oliphant he's just super um charismatic on screen he's funny and just all all around a great actor i think and so um and this just fit really well for him um so i'd like to read I'd like to read this one. I also have all the Dexter novels um, that were the basis for the show, TV show Dexter. Um, and uh, those ones as well are super intriguing to me because that is also one of my favorite shows of all time. So I was thinking of doing a um, video on like book series that actually coincide with TV shows or something like that. So uh, maybe I'll do that. Joe Nesbo, Midnight Sun, another one of the Nesbos. V.C. Andrews, Olivia. I don't usually see these in like a kind of oversized paperback. Uh, Richard Crawford, The Winds of Patwin County. This looks like a kind of a self-published type thing. I don't know anything about it. It fit in a paper bag and that's why I got it. Yeah, a printed in Roseville, which is right near Sacramento. Someone self-printed, self-published this one. So I, I'm kind of curious to read some of these. I, I did grab a few self-published stuff, uh, self-published ones, and I kind of want to check them out. So The Warlock's Night Out, Christopher Stashif, another one of those parts of that series. Um, Gregory Benford and Larry Niven, another part of that earlier one. This is Ship Star. Uh, I don't know how many are in this, um, that Bowl of Heaven was the first one. I don't know how many are in this series, but they're both um, first edition hardcovers. Yep. So, curious. 
maybe I'll check those out at some point. That's not up high on my TBR or anything at the moment, but uh, another one, Richard Castle. I love, love, love the TV show Castle. I love Nathan Fillion. He is probably my number one actor. Um, between him and Ryan Reynolds are two of my favorite actors of all time. Uh, I love them both. Uh, uh, anything that comes on from either one of them, I want to watch. So, uh, But I love Castle, and I have uh, a few. I have like seven or eight of the books. And the books they talk about in the show are actually written novels that are published. So, um, And a lot of the cases coincide with the actual book that's published. So it's kind of a neat... Uh, a neat way to revisit the show. Uh, I did just restart the show and start watching it over from episode one again, just for fun. While my eye was like closed up and swollen and, you know, completely sealed and I had to have something on it, I uh, was able to just sit there and watch TV. So. <laughs> uh, ben Bova, The Winds of Altair. Okay paperback size. Uh, Roger Zelazny, Mad Wand. Check out that cover. Some of these have the best covers on them. Book Club Edition on that one. Uh, the Day of Their Return, Paul Anderson. I have a lot of Paul Anderson vintage uh, hardcovers, which is kind of neat. Um, Zelazny, Lord of Light. Killer cover on that, too. Look at this. Yeah, that photo. That's great. Um, I'm assuming this is a... Oh, it's a book club. I was going to say, I'm assuming it's a original. But, uh, 1967. Uh, Flatland, A Romance of Many Dimensions. I um, have this on my TBR for the year. I have a smaller little copy of it. Um, I did start it a little bit like a week or two ago and I just kind of knew it wasn't going to be the right one for me to read right then so I only got like a page or two in and I went uh eh, not right now and so I put it aside and picked something else um so uh Fred Saberhagen and Army of Swords this whole series can go for quite a bit on eBay if you have the whole collection Frederick Pohl Homecoming Frederick Pohl The Voices of Heaven the Many Worlds of Science Fiction, edited by Ben Bova. Look at that cover. That gives me like a Saturday morning cartoon feel to it. Uh, Book Club Edition has Ben Bova, Gene Wolfe, Bert Filler. Not familiar with that name. Bert K. Filler. Uh, Andrea Norton, Gordon Dixon, Keith Lommer, Anne McCaffrey, Robert Silverberg, and Harlan Ellison. Wow. Curious who Burt Filler is now in that mix of awesomeness. Um, Don't Turn the Lights On, edited by Diana Bocco. This looks like another self-published kind of thing. Um, and it's uh, a collection of shorts, and they look like all shorts that I've never I've never heard of anybody in here so um, that's kind of neat so a self-published short story collection I had this idea I don't know if I should say it because if someone steals it and does it it'd be really cool and I'd be sad that I never did it hmm yeah I'm not gonna say it never mind all right you'll find out Maybe a year from now. Okay. War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells Adventure Classics. This is a, a special edition and it has a 3D puzzle with it. And it's just kind of a neat, looks like collector's type edition. Um, I don't see the 3D puzzle in here. It says it on the front, but it must have been something that was like attached to it or came with it. Um, or maybe you can special order. I don't know. So, um, it says see the back, but I don't see it anywhere. Uh, okay, anyways, it's kind of cool. Uh, Man Seed by Jack Williamson. Book Club Edition. 
I'm, I am curious to read Jack Williamson. I have a few that I've had on my list for a while that I want to read. Um, Shadrach and the Furnace, Robert Silverberg. Uh, Silverberg, World of a Thousand Colors. Big kind of trade paperback size. All right, and then a little tear on that back page, unfortunately. Uh, Mask Theory by Jack Vance, hardcover. And Book Club Edition. Hopefully signed. Oh. Yeah, it's worth a shot. That's a good one. All right, so I think I showed this one on Instagram the other day. Um, I'm pretty sure I got this one at that... Um, warehouse sale not at a thrift store but it is the world treasury of science fiction edited by david g hartwell this thing is so so packed full it's not even funny it is a first edition uh printed in 1989 it has okay kurt vonnegut john campbell J.G. Ballard, and I'm going to skip some. I'm just going by the ones that I know. Sturgeon, Abram Davidson, Arthur C. Clarke, Gerard Klein, Gene Wolfe. It has the fifth head of Cerberus in here. John Updike, Alfred Bester, C.M. Kornbluth, Stanislaw Lem, Robert Heinlein, Robert Sheckley, John Varley, Larry Niven, Frederick Pohl, um, Isaac Asimov, Theodore Sturgeon, Ray Bradbury, Ursula K. Le Guin, Anthony Burgess, Fritz Leiber, Thomas Dish, Damon Knight, Walter M. Miller, uh, Brian Aldis, Philip K. Dick, Robert Block, Samuel Delaney, another Stanislaw Lem, Joanna Russ, Gerard Klein again, Henry Kuttner, and Arkady and Boris Strugatsky. This thing is just packed full. It's kind of unreal. So um, that one's pretty awesome. And I'm most likely going to hang on to it. Uh, another one compiled by Robert Silverberg. 14 short uh, story collection here again uh, from Worlds Imagine. And this is not a book club edition. It is probably a first, I would guess. If I can get the pages to separate. Uh, 1989, and we have Wyman Gwyn. I don't know. Is that Ursula's husband? Maybe I don't know. Wyman. Hmm. Anyways, John Varley, Robert Heinlein, Theodore Sturgeon, uh, Robert Silverberg, uh, Isaac Asimov, Arthur C. Clarke, Samuel Delaney, Bertram Chandler. It has Case of Conscience in it by James Blish, Damon Knight, James Tiptree, and Cordwainer Smith. So that's kind of um, kind of crazy. And this must be uh, Case of Conscience is the short version, not the full length one, because it is only um, uh, like fifty six pages long. So it's not the full length one, but still very, very, very cool. Um, so I picked up a couple of these ones. It's uh, L.T. Ryan uh, series, uh, When Dead in Greece. It's a Jack Noble thriller. It's another one, Deadly Distance, Noble Beginnings, and A Thin Line. I've actually sold these on eBay as a set, like a bundle, not even in order. I don't, there's a different series here, I think. And, um, uh, oh, maybe these are all Jack Nobles. Oh, they are. Okay. Um, but I sold, sold them before and, um, they sold really well and really fast. So I just grabbed these cause why not? And I sure, I'm sure I have a few more floating around somewhere. Ira Levin. So author of, uh, Rosemary's Baby. This is a uh, sliver hardcover, not book club. So... Uh, first first edition, 291. Just crispy clean. It's like it's brand new. So, so Andrea Norton, um, Scent of Magic. I have so many Norton books. It's not even funny. 
Uh, and I have a few that are now like omnibuses that I think I'm going to keep over the other ones because there's just so many. I do have a signed copy of an Andre Norton and Robert Block together book, which is kind of cool. Um, the True Game by Sherry S. Tepper. Move it along a little bit here. Another a King David Spaceship by Jerry Purnell. Same exact uh, copy. Tad Williams, um, Shadow Rise. This is book three of Shadow March. I have a few Tad Williams. I just don't have all of a series by Tad Williams. And I'm curious to read them. I've heard uh, I've heard he's kind of like an underrated writer that, you know, extremely good, but just isn't talked about too much. So um, Universe 4 by Terry Carr. Uh, book Club Edition, and this contains Jack Vance, Robert Silverberg, R.A. Lafferty, Ron Goulart, Gordon Eklund, Gregory Benford, Alexi Panchi, or Panchin, excuse me. That's cool. I have a few Alexi Panchin books around. Uh, another um, Andrea Norton, this is uh, Golden, uh, Golden Trillium, uh, part of Black Trillium, and then there's a third one I can't remember. Uh, Blood Trillium uh, by Julian May. So, and then the first one, Black Trillium, is co-written with uh, Marion Zimmer Bradley and Julian May together. So, I do have all those in hardcover and paperback floating around somewhere. Uh, so, um, a original unauthorized guide to Buffy's world. The girls got bite. Revised and updated. I have so many Buffy things. It's not even funny. Um, and I, I don't know. I kind of want to read them all. Um, I don't know if I'll want to read like the, you know, the, the behind the scenes, like that one, the, the guide to kind of thing. But, um, and this one's just on Joss Wheaton. So this is just a Joss Wheaton, um, you know, what, what his life is about and, um, you know, whether, whether you like him or not. This was written in 2003, so, um, uh, 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 and there's a little bit about Firefly in here, so I will definitely read that part, even though I have watched, um, tons of behind the scenes and stuff like that on Firefly, um, so, uh, World's Best Science Fiction, 1969, nice. Jack Galgan cover, book club edition, and, oh, doesn't, hold on. Um, so, uh, Robert Sheckley, there's Burt Filler again. I don't know Burt Filler, but there we go again, nice. Paul Anderson, Robert Silverberg, Brian Aldiss, Damon Knight, Samuel Delaney, uh, R.A. Lafferty, Kurt Vonnegut Jr., Terry Carr, uh, Brian Aldiss again, Fritz Leiber, Fred Saberhagen. So there's quite a few in that one as well. That's kind of neat. Speaking of Firefly, I was so excited when I found this. I uh, kind of, I might have, I might have squealed a little. I don't know. Uh, this is the official companion to Firefly. It's a, it's a pretty good size, and uh, I was very. Very excited for that. It is full color. This this is pretty cool. Dude, if this thing was if this thing was signed, I would pee myself, I think. I don't know. Wow. Just one of the best shows ever created. I absolutely love. Love love this show it's so sad it was only one season but i just love that show um i also got this this one which is kind of neat tom cruise uh the last samurai it's a big kind of behind the scenes with photos and details and things like that um it's not a not a movie that's been out anytime recently or talked about recently it just looks kind of neat 
was part of that bag deal. So I um, thought I'd grab it and see if there was any value in that. I don't intend to hang on to that one. And then um, the Friends official farewell commemorative. And um, includes cast exit interviews, tons of photos, things like that. Same kind of deal. And uh, I'm sure somebody out there would want something like that. Another Tad Williams, Shadow Play. I don't know if that's part of that same. What's the other one? Shadow Rise. I would assume these are part of the same series. I would guess they look very similar. So, um, uh, Volume 2 of Shadow March, it says. And this one uh, is 3. So I'm missing, I'm missing the first one. I don't know if there's more after three, but if I happen to find the first one, then I may finally have a complete set there. Um, the unofficial X-Files companion. I just picked this up with all that other stuff because I have a ton of X-Files stuff and I, um, I know there are people out there that love X-Files. So this is volume three of the official guide to X-Files. Uh, the official third season guide to X-Files. <laughs> Uh, Book of the Unexplained, Volume 1 of the X-Files. <laughs> so there's a bunch of those. All right, so the Starfleet Academy entrance exam, trivia from Star Trek, things like that. So um, kind of neat for any Star Trek fan. And then I also have the Starfleet Medical Reference Manual and actually has Spock and they're performing medical uh, things and just anatomy, uh, all kinds of stuff in here. If you're a Star Trek fan, this is probably extremely interesting. So um, I am not a Trekkie, so, but I'm sure somebody out there would love those. Uh, Sherry Priest Bone Shaker. This is a tour kind of, kind of trade paperback size. Looks kind of maybe steampunky. Um, Jack McDevitt, Starhawk. And I have some McDevitt that I want to read and haven't got to yet, but I'm, I, I, I'm curious to read him, and I have a bunch, so i um, looking forward to getting to that at some point. Um, Swords Master by Fritz Leiber. Lieber. Uh, Baptism of Fire, a Witcher novel. And this, um, I have one or two other Witcher ones. I'd like to read all these at some point. Supposedly really good. Um, so, curious to check those out at some point. I Am Legend, the actual Will Smith edition. Richard Matheson, one of my favorites. Um, this is the Omnibus edition by Karen Miller, Godspeaker. This thing is huge. I mean, this thing is massive. I don't know um, anything about Karen Miller other than I've seen the books around. Um, and um, I have like the Innocent Mage, the Awakened Mage, those two. Um, but I've never read anything by Karen Miller. But this is three books, a part of the um, God, it's the God Speaker uh, trilogy. And it's just massive. Kind of neat if you were going to read all three of them just to go through one book like that, if that's your thing. I think it'd be kind of cool. John Varley, The Persistence of Vision. Hardcover. John Varley, Red Thunder. I am running out of space. I just so got to get organized here. Uh, another of those Jack Ryan books. This is Noble Intentions, and the front cover is starting to come off a little bit. But add that to those, and that's going to fall. Oh, I saved it. Okay. Um, I, another movie tie-in that I'd love to read. I absolutely love this movie, The Soloist. I thought this was a phenomenal movie. Um, very enjoyable, and so I'll add that to my movie tie-in collections. Um, Peter Straub, Houses Without Doors, hardcover edition. 
Neil Stevenson, The System of the World. This is book three of the Baroque Cycle. I have not read Stevenson yet. I have been told over and over to. Uh, William Kotzwinkel, Fata Morgana. I may have shared this at some point. I don't know. Um, I did, um, I got a bunch of these in the past. I think I might have talked about this one before. So maybe these ones are duplicate sharings of what I've already talked about. And if so, sorry. All right, um, New York 2140, Kim Stanley Robinson. This is a pretty chunky one too. Ellie Modestat Jr., The Fires of Paratime. Hard cover. Year of the Cloud, Ted Thomas and Kate Wilhelm. anything about that not even a little uh tales of wonder and imagination uh these are cat stories cat stories and we have we have a receipt and another receipt so let's see somebody paid dollars and seventy cents I'd be surprised that it was two dollars and seventy cents for this book but that's kind of cool oh this is a bookstore in Jackson California um, I uh, my dad actually lives in Jackson and uh, I haven't seen my dad in a really long time um, uh, <laughs> sore subject um, and, uh, maybe I'll have to take a trip up there and that'll give me an excuse to go. Uh, first edition, and there's a lot of people in this. Lewis Carroll, Neil Gaiman, uh, Charles DeLint, um, Ro uh, George R. R. Martin, Michael Bishop, uh, Tanith Lee, Peter Beagle, Lawrence Block, Joyce Carol Oates, Jack Ketchum, uh, Stephen King, uh, John Crowley, Nancy Springer, that's about it that I know, but that's quite a few in one collection there, all about cats, all about cats. Um, so, Handling the Undead by John Lindquist, and this is the author who wrote um, Let the Right One In, and um, that one is on my TBR to read, I'm Super excited for it. I, I actually realized the other day, I don't think I ever saw the uh, the original uh, movie version of Let the Right One In. I think I saw the American remake, and I would guess it's probably not as good. So um, kind of uh, excited to get to that at some point. Beggars and Choosers, Nancy Cress, hardcover. Another Nancy Cress, An Alien Light, hardcover. Check this one out, Araminta Station by Jack Vance. That's a good one. Um, yeah. It is. Uh, looks like a first edition, 1988. I don't see anything stating book club or anything like that, but it is a shorter, stubbier one, which usually means it's book club, but that's not written in there. Another Jack Vance. Um, Eki and Old Earth, or E.C. and Old Earth. Um, and so, uh, this is book two of the Cadwall Chronicles. I don't know much about those ones at all by Vance. Um, so I don't know what other parts uh, have to do with the Cadwall Chronicles. Okay, Urban Enemies. Desperately trying to hold this stack of books here. Urban Enemies. And the only one I see on the front there that is uh, recognizable to me is Jim Butcher. So, but it is a collection of urban fantasy stories. So. Arthur C. Clarke, 2010, Odyssey number two. I did not enjoy uh, Space Odyssey all that much, so I doubt I'm ever going to read uh, two, three, four, all those. Um, so, I may 
keep a copy just because to have in a collection but sense and sensibility and sea monsters so i have um the the zombie one and then there's another one and so i have a bunch of these that kind of go together neil stevenson uh remedy read me that's written in a weird way i don't know if it's actually called remedy or read me Rimdi. 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 Uh, so, first edition 2011. Not a Stevenson one that I've seen before. Um, Death Day by William C. Dietz. Stephen King's Doctor Sleep. And uh, the reason this one's interesting is because it's a large print edition. And usually large print edition books, if you're a reseller, the large print edition books sell better or are worth more than a regular edition. So even if you go into a bookstore, the large edition ones are usually more expensive than the original print. So uh, worth picking up. The Illuminatus Trilogy by Robert Shea and Robert Anton Wilson. The Eye in the Pyramid, The Golden Apple, and Leviathan. It's a big omnibus of these that I've actually never heard of. So someone may know more about that. Azazel Fantasy Stories by Asimov hardcover. Uh, and these are shorts by Asimov himself. So quite a few in there. Kind of a neat little collection it looks like. Alright, so Stephen Baxter, Manifold Origin. So Stephen Baxter, Manifold Time, uh, seems to go along with that one. Um, I don't know what order or what. Um, doesn't really say in there, so I'll figure that out later. Um, Bradbury, Let's All Kill Constance. I actually had this one before. It was assigned to Bradbury and I gave it away and whatnot. Uh, I don't know why I tend to give away signed copies, uh, just for some reason. And, um, this um, this one's not signed, unfortunately. But um, Tau Zero, Paul Anderson, very well known book by Paul Anderson. Uh, hardcover copy is very clean. It is nice and crispy, and feels like it's not even been opened ever. 1970 first edition, it looks like. And uh, this one is on my list to read for the year, so I may keep this one in. Uh, trade out the other the other one that I have new Hugo winners volume 2 by Asimov uh, let's see who's in this one um, so uh, Zelazny and the book is 24 views of Mount Fuji by Hakusai by Roger Zelazny so, interesting name. Um, Harlan Ellison, Frederick Pohl, Robert Silverberg, Roger Zelazny again, uh, Greg Bear, um, Orson Scott Card, Ursula K. Le Guin, and uh, Lawrence Watt Evans. So, it's kind of a neat, uh, wouldn't mind having all these. This is volume two. Wouldn't mind having the, the other volumes in that also. City by Clifford Simak. Um, unfortunately, this one I did not realize when picking it up is missing the first like couple, you know, introductory pages that have like the date and printing and all that stuff. But the whole um, complete story is here, and everything that's written, like the preface and everything, is all there. Uh, I did match it against my other copy, and um, so it's only missing the front part. Um, but unfortunately, you know. A bummer but still someone may want it to be able to read it and things like that so um carl sagan uh broca's brain broca's brain it says uh, reflections on the romance of science peter f hamilton the dreaming void 
I have not read any Hamilton either. Star Wars, The New Jedi Order, Vector Prime. I stopped picking up Star Wars on purpose, uh, other than when they're in little collections like, or little um, hauls like that where I can just fill a bag. I'll go ahead and throw them in there. Uh, Bentley Little, The Disappearance. I just have too many as well. So a nice, uh, that one uh, doesn't say horror, but um, His Father's Son by Bentley Little. I have quite a few Bentley Littles now. Uh, Greg Bear, the Darwin's Radio. This is the s sequel. No, this is the first one, and Darwin's Children's the sequel, I believe. So, um, Peter Straub, A Dark Matter. So, um, one of the other ones I wanted to read by Peter Straub. There's actually a few by Straub I want to read. I really enjoyed his format and writing style um, uh, when I read Shadowlands. Uh, the sort of, uh, however it's said, Shannara, 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 Shannara is how I would probably guess it was said. Sort of Shannara, but it's probably said some other way. I don't know. Um, Joe McKinney, Flesh Eaters, and Joe McKinney, uh, Dead City. So these are both zombie novels. I don't know if they go together or what, but, um... I do like some zombie novels. Uh, looks like there's one before this called Apocalypse of the Dead. So maybe there's, maybe this is um, the second part of that. So anyways, uh, I might want to keep those and read them. And hopefully I find Apocalypse of the Dead. Uh, P.D. James Shroud for a Nightingale. This is a mystery book. Not exactly sure why I threw that one in there, but I did. Dean Kuntz, The Voice of the Night. I have a million Dean Koontz. I just started reading Intensity uh, by Dean Koontz because I was going to read some other ones and I've heard a few times that Intensity was very good. Um, so far, it's kind of so-so. Um, I'm, not, I'm not super into it. It's kind of hard to pick up right now. So I've um, just been chipping away at it a little bit. I was, I don't know. I was thinking I'd re just read straight through and get it done. But uh, I just, I'm not enjoying it as much as I would want to, but um, I don't know, something about it. The, the thing that I really like, the thing that I really like is it takes place in Napa, which is where I've lived for a long time. And uh, it's right, it's like an hour and 15 minutes away from me. Um, and so when he's referencing all the streets and the roads and the highways and this and that, and I'm like, oh, it's cool just it's kind of neat but uh, other than that it's not grabbing my attention a ton um dean Koontz, uh midnight uh, celtic tales valor of the evil eye it's one i picked up that i thought might have some value and i actually have another copy that i just was looking at to put on ebay i don't remember if i did or if it was worth it or not um Douglas Adams, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy again. Another Richard Castle one. This is Naked Heat. And I'm pretty sure I have this one. Yeah, I do have this one in hardcover. So, I do like uh, that show, and I'm looking forward to reading those books. Babylon Babies um, by Maurice G. Dantec. And this was made into a novel with Vin Diesel. Um, a while ago it was not a very well re well uh, received movie um, but maybe the book is really good and that's why they chose to make it into a movie uh, I did grab a few DVDs too and I don't normally uh, but it was part of the fill the bag you could fill as many DVDs or CDs or whatever into the bags as you wanted which was really cool I just have thousands and thousands of DVDs that I need to get rid of so picking up more is kind of silly, but I just happened to see them and I thought, well, I'll just grab them. So Planet Terror, and I, I grabbed this one because it also had the blockbuster cover. So uh, this is uh, a Robert Ra Rodriguez Grindhouse film. Uh, White Noise, starring Michael Keaton. It's an old horror flick. I think it was PG-13. Yeah, so it wasn't, uh, I, I don't remember, I don't remember much about that one. I don't remember if I liked it or not back in the day. The Signal, um, this is kind of a low budget one. I was gonna talk about this 
actually on, um, I think it's on Tubi right now. It's one of those streaming platforms and it's actually a decent movie and it's not, um, there's not a lot of budget in it and it, it kind of came out and was under the radar, I think. Um, but it was a pretty decent movie. Uh, Starship Troopers number two. I mean, enough said. Blockbuster movie at its finest. All right, another Richard Castle, Heat Wave, and I do have this one in hardcover as well. I think there's ten uh, Nikki Heat novels and um, ten, eight or ten, I can't remember. And then there's um, like six Derek Storm novels as well. So, um, and I think this one has like an. Uh, uh, Part of the next book in it as well like they put like four chapters at the end you know um so ian douglas i have um a bunch of ian douglas and i was missing like one to complete the set and i didn't remember which one it was so um i grabbed this i grabbed whatever ian douglas is i saw um you can fit a lot of paperbacks into a paper bag so <laughs> um i grabbed pretty much anything that looked interesting in the sci-fi section so book one of the legacy trilogy i know there's there's uh, a few more of those i don't pick up much star trek anymore either because i have so much of it and nobody seems to want it um but uh i do like this format or this style of the paperbacks and it is a uh, pocket science fiction and uh, this one is pretty crispy clean so i went ahead and grabbed it marion zimmer bradley um another one i don't pick up really on purpose anymore um, but this was um, just one of the ones that I could throw right into the paperback bag I probably threw it on top you know just to fill the <laughs> fill the bag up or something uh, it is a dark over doll though uh, so Joe Kinney Joe McKinney that same one this is uh, mutated and this must be it looks like number four in that collection so hopefully I have Apocalypse of the Dead so I can maybe start reading these. I'd, I'd really like to read those just because they're about zombies and I like zombies. Um, the Silence, Tim LeBon, Levin, LeBon. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Um, is this the one that was made into the movie recently on Netflix that was kind of like um, similar to the one with Sandra Bullock? I can't I think of it right now. Anyways, I think they came out at the same time. And I, I think that's the, the novelization of it. Um, John Varley, Demon. So part of that uh, trilogy of um, Wizard, Titan, and uh, Demon. And I don't have all three. So um, Demon is one of those. I'll, I might hang on to them because I've heard they're really good. Uh, Heinlein, Starship Tro Troopers, the Will Smith movie edition. Um, John Wyndham, Trouble with Lichen, or Lichen, Lichen, and this is a Penguin uh, edition published in 1963. That looks newer than 1963. I would have not have guessed. I would have guessed that something published way later. Interesting. Um, hey, Hardy Boys number 25. Yeah, yeah. I did not read, when I was into Hardy Boys back in the day, I didn't read these case file ones. I read the old school, like the blue hardcover uh, ones. I had them, like all of them. I still have a ton of them. Um, and you can find them anywhere. They're not hard to find. I'm sure the original, uh, there's some original ones that are like in a woven, um, almost like a tweed cover looking thing. I don't think it feels the same, but it looks kind of like tweed. And um, it's a... Uh, brown and dark brown and uh, I think those are harder to find um, so uh, John Christopher the tripods this is an old series and this is two parts of that one this is books three and four and like a perma bound edition and I did find some paperbacks and I am hoping I have all of the series all four um, because I'd like to read them and um he's the same guy who wrote the little people <laughs> um and um I, I know they're not all in this perma bound edition i have some paperbacks and there might even be some trade size which is interesting 
Um, but I'm hoping I have all of them so I could read that whole series. Um, all right. Orson Scott Card, Speaker for the Dead, Author's Definitive Edition. Uh, Mona Lisa Overdrive, William Gibson. Most all this stuff will be available and whatnot if you're interested. William Gibson, Count Zero. In the Night Room by Peter Straub. A Timescape of Joe Halderman, author of The Forever War. Um, this is World's beginning of a, a major sci-fi trilogy, it says. I don't know what the continuation of that is, but there's a Timescape version of that. Uh, another Peter Straub, Mr. X. I have tons of Peter Straub. Joe Halderman, um, Becoming. David Brin, Kiln People. P.D. James, Unnatural Causes. Um, Ender's Game, Orson Scott Card. Speaker for the Dead, Author's Definitive Edition. Definitive Edition. Another part of the Ender's Saga. Um, Inferno by Nevin Purnell. And that is, that's probably one of the better covers, I think. It's supposed to be a decent book. Uh, movie tie-in edition of Iron Man. And that will go in my tie-in collection. Uh, at some point I want to show you guys that. Maybe I'll do a video just on my movie tie-ins. So that'll be fun. Uh, Pip and Flicks Adventure Sliding Scales. This is Alan Dean Foster. Um, I have not even remotely tried to collect all these Pip and Flicks ones. Flinks, Flinks, Flinks. Um, but uh, there's a ton of them. A lot of them. So, S.M. Sterling, uh, The Sky People. The House, Bentley Little. More more Bentley Little there. And then The Moat in God's Eye, Niven Purnell. And the sequel, The Gripping Hand. Both together there. Brett Weeks, Beyond the Shadows. I have a bunch of those ones. Ray Bradbury, Now and Forever. I have actually not seen that copy anywhere before. Um, a bunch of Kevin J. Anderson. So I am not familiar with Kevin J. Anderson other than seeing the name on like many Star Wars novels, uh, things like that, uh, anthologies, compilations. So I'm not a, I'm not a, uh, you know, I don't have a lot of information on Anderson, but here is a complete set, The Saga of Seven Sons, book one, two, and three. I'm assuming that's the whole thing. Uh, Ken McLeod, The Cassian Division. Castle War by John DeChancey. Just crazy, crazy cover. Uh, Donaldson, which I need to figure out which Donaldsons I have. I have quite a bit, but this is The Mirror of Her Dreams, and I know I have this in hardcover as well. Dean Koontz, The Mask. Another of the Enders saga, um, Orson Scott Card, Children of the Mind. Silverberg, Sorcerers of Majapur. The Mountains of Majapur. This is one of the ones I see all the time, Madripoor Chronicles. Um, I don't know if this is going to be anything or not. It may have some value, I don't know. But this is Earth 2, like a whoop, TV show tie-in. Uh, some of those can be very good. Some of them are worth nothing. Paul Anderson, Starfarers. George R. R. Martin, Fever Dream, Fever Dream, um, Silverberg, Gilgamesh the King, another one of the Earth 2 novels, David Brin, The Uplift War, this is uh, book 3. I think this is book three in that series. It is, um, uh, yeah, Star Tide, Star Tide Rising, I believe, Sun Diver. I think those are the first two. 
I forget. I have the whole thing. And then there was, so there was an original trilogy that was written of these, these first three. And then later, uh, like an additional trilogy that's added on to that. So there's a total of six books in that. Um, I do have all those. Um, I think, I think I have a full set available on whatnot in the buy it now. And then I have my own copy. So, um, uh, book two of that Ian Douglas, um, series, very, cartoony type covers there. Robert Asprin, another fine myth, myth conceptions, two cla two classics. Oh my gosh. Another fine myth, myth conceptions, two classic mything books in one volume. Wow. Myth, 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 say that a bunch. Um, and it is another fine myth, myth, myth conceptions, and 2002. So I don't know much about Asprin. Uh, book three of the Legacy Trilogy, so I have one to three already. So White Mountains, this is part of that Tripods book I was just talking about that I wanted. So um, I have, it says Trilogy, but I think there's four. Uh, Arthur C. Clarke, Childhood's End. Lucifer's Hammer. Here is um, another part of that uh, Trilogy by John Barley that says Titan. So I think I had Titan and Demon, but uh, I don't think I have Wizard. And I think I just sold Wizard not too long ago, so bummer. Should have kept it. Uh, Peter of Hamilton, the Nano Flower. Not good. That's all going to fall. Uh, another of the Aliens books. I have uh, a bunch of those. Two more Hardy Boys. One of the case files. I don't usually pick those up. It just happened to be in the 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 buy a bag thing um so chronicles of thomas covenant the unbeliever book three stephen donaldson and i have a few of these for sure and lastly the ring world throne a part of the ring world series um this is the sequel or no the third one i think so it's ring world um ring world engineers and then uh ring world throne by larry niven and that's it it it's all of them i did pick up a ton of other stuff with that that you didn't see it just already got unloaded and incorporated in and so there's lots of stuff um i will eventually go through and do a library kind of collection tour of everything that i have once it's organized and i can actually show it without it just looking like a massive mess of stuff uh, but keep an eye out for whatnot if you want uh, my ebay store you can have that too i put them on there if you let me know that you're um, you know, from YouTube or whatever, and you watched and you wanted that book and you go on eBay, just type it in there, like send an offer and be like, Hey, this is so-and-so from YouTube. Um, and, uh, so I know that I can, you know, give you a better deal than I would on for somebody else or something. Um, and yeah, that's it. I think that's all. Catch you next time.